yo, this is another episode of Out of Box Podcast. It's your boy Shard. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, Shard to God. We got a wonderful panel here tonight. Right. So look, we gonna go, we gonna go left to right, and we gonna go ahead and introduce the panel. Hi, y'all. It's Marley. You can follow me at Look Smiley on Instagram. Hold up, time out. It's Marley. It's that energy. It's Marley. She said she's tired. Right it's too cool. <laughs> Y'all need to agree. Y'all, I'm not even going to say that. Yeah. I'm not even going to say that. Yo, what up? Hold up. Yo, what up? It's your girl, LQ. Um, an artist, singer, songwriter. You know, you can follow me on Instagram at underscore LQ Yolanda. And, you know, listen to me on all platforms at LQ. Hi, guys. My name is Rarefied T on Instagram. Rarefied, R-A-R-E-F-I-E-D underscore t-e-e i'm a licensed bartender um i also do hair as well as make confectionery treats like chocolate covered strawberries and boxes and stuff like that so y'all follow me on instagram it's on the screen that's it <laughs> <laughs> hey look bro I, I, hey look oh my god so y'all already know the deal you already know that we got a box. We got hella questions in the box. You already know the vibes. We are gonna go around. We are gonna answer these questions. We are gonna get into the nitty gritty. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give it to my girl LQ right here. First question on you. Shake up the box. Pick a question and let's see what you got. Okay. You trying to be all cool with it. <laughs> hmm, she's talking about hmm. insert the commercial music now. The question is who has more influence, a rich man or an attractive woman? Mm. Shit. Let me start that off. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. First and foremost, a rich man has more influence over an attractive woman. And I say that simply because Women, literally, we, we get ourselves ready. We go out. We look good to attract men. Not just to feel good about ourselves, but to also attract men. I don't care what nobody else say, but when you go out, you're not looking for the little fish. You're looking for the big fish. You're looking for the nigga with the money. You're looking for the nigga with the bag. Oh, that's what you be doing? Definitely, because who's about to be out looking for the little fish? <laughs> like, <laughs> you might want a medium bass. You never know. <laughs> I ain't say nothing about medium. Uh, you go ain't no black guy. or white. I mean, it's black or white. Ain't no gray. Mm. I got a medium that's bag. Yeah, I, got I mean, a medium, that's cool, I got a medium but bag too, so it's all bad. y'all talking about y'all got a medium bag. I ain't got a big bag. <laughs> the, bag the bag could be big for the for the right person. Yeah. And I'm, that, right I'm a medium bag ass nigga, though. Mm -hmm. For me, so I'm going to just go ahead and answer the question. So I'm going to say the same thing. It's gonna be the guy with the bag, because I'm I'm just gonna keep it G though. Like y'all gonna hate me when I say this, right? A lot. It's, there's a lot of attractive women, but there's not a lot of guys with with bread or or bag per se. So I just feel like if I did have if I did have a bag and I walked into a room, like I don't feel like I would get enough attention versus an attractive woman that will walk into it, right? So, like, yeah, like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go too deep into it, because I feel like I might get a lot of backlash. Like, he already, like, look at him. He already, <laughs> he, he already away. about to put me in a blender right now. Uh, no, he about to put me in a blender right now. I just feel like, I literally feel like, a, like, like, legit, like, I mean, that that's just how I feel, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna keep going, like, fuck it, go ahead, what you think? Mm, I believe, yes, the men has way more influence because at the end of the day, yes, love will come. We are looking for love. We are looking for everything. But at the end of the day, we're looking for a s substantial and financial and stability at the end of the day, too. So if you can't provide me with none of that, then mm, you can't ruin me. But so yes. hold up. So aside so side from that question, right, so some women, right, I'm not going to say all women, some women believe guys, right? Fuck anything with a pussy, right? Y'all, y'all think that's true? Mm. Not if you got that bag. 
Hold on, nah. What I can no, you, you don't need a bag. No, I don't no, think No, for us, we don't need a bag. I'm going to ask. I'm going to Like, legit. Like, you feel like... I Like, you feel like guys will fuck an ugly girl. Just, oops, excuse me. Y'all catch that one, Kim. Y'all feel like guys will fuck anything with a pussy. I don't think he'll fuck anything with a pussy. I think it depends on the guy. Yeah, it I, depends on him and how, the drought. how he is. <laughs> what's going on with him? I feel like... Because a guy knows what he wants at the end of the day. God knows what he wants when he... You know what I'm saying? He knows, he knows what he wants at the end of the day. So he can just fuck anything. If he wants to fuck anything, that's his decision on what's going on with him. So... So y'all just so y'all gonna say just it got, I pretty much all what you were trying to say depends say nothing yet. what you said. We saying anything like anything well, look, like, wise, like, anything, look wise anything look wise look wise look wise I feel like yeah these niggas be fucking anything look wise because a lot of these females just be ass and titties hey, and they not. face be on so a butter roll kill so a butterhead there's nothing wrong with it but what I'm saying is anything. That's that's what I'm gonna consider. So what's anything. better though? So so I'm playing devil's advocate. So what's better, like a, a girl with an okay face and an amazing body, or a girl with an amazing face and nobody? I feel like it gotta be somewhere in between. It, and no, it really I, just depends. Out of those depends. two, you got those two. Which one's two, better? Out of those two, ain't no me, If it's me, You're if it's me, if I'm a nigga, I'm gonna pick a girl that got a beautiful face because if I'm really pursuing you and I'm finna be with you, you gotta be a one. So if you got, we can go get your body done. We can go get you titties. We can go get you an ass. All right, she but you got nah. But here's the difference. And that bro. that's another it reason why. It don't bounce the same. It don't bounce the same. It don't bounce the same. But I just it can. Though. It can. It can. It can. I've seen it. But it's it can. And not. It's not and, and, the same. and it's 2022. Oh, nine times out of ten, <laughs> the asses ain't sad. real no way. But it can. Oh my god. That's why I go for the regular looking booties. I don't go for the <laughs> the ant booties. You know, like the movie. Marley, <laughs> hey, Marley look like she about to explore. You <laughs> said the ant booties. Yeah. I don't Marley, hey, that. Marley look like she about to explore right now. Marley must have something to say. What she about to say, Marley? Back, pack, back, pack. Go ahead. Hurricane Marley. Not playing. Nah. I'm playing. What was the question again? Who has more influence, a rich man or a beautiful woman? Attractive woman. You smart. I always say attractive woman because a woman could really attack a man's mind more than a man could attack a woman's mind. I feel like a lot of times women are kind of, they're already thinking their own thoughts. Selfish. No, it's not selfish. It's just we're more in tune with our own emotions. So when is the so, last? So, but however, a man is kind of like I, I don't know. If that's just the way y'all are wired. But y'all just kind of like think like okay, more about you know doing we're, this because oh my woman's gonna think this because we're bred to as as a kid you're bred to take care of your woman you're supposed to why are you putting air quotes it's just certain biology of things well if, if I, hold, on. hold on hold <laughs> on i'm checking him because i'm checking him no no no, no. I, I put i put i put air quotes because that's <laughs> what quotes are used for when people <laughs> say Marley right guys. that's quotes are used for quoting people what they teach you so from the perspective of the teacher, okay. Marley didn't like that's it. why I quote. I ain't but like it. taking care of your woman, people kind of, kind of confuse it. I don't want to take it there this early. You know what I'm we, saying? So, when, so, when's the, so when's the last time you felt like that? What do you mean? Felt like what? Like as far as like attractive woman versus a guy with money. Like you, See, have, have you ever talking. felt like you was in that situation where you were attractive and you just want a guy over? You just wanted what? Like you want a guy over. Like as far as like your looks. Want him like, over. Like you want him over. I mean, I feel like, yeah, being attractive, you could win people over. No, you, not not the situation. I'm talking about you. I want to. I want to know about okay. a scenario based off the question. Like, have you experienced that before? For me personally, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just like a lot of times. I'm not gonna give a specific incident because I don't have one that comes to mind, but. Um, I could just speak from experience that a lot of men with money, they see attractive women and they're just ready to spend. They about to splurge. So you can kind of sway what they're spending on if you're attractive. If we're kind of talking about the question, right? Thank you. Right? She she hit everything I was going to say. She did. I was, I, waiting for, I was waiting for y'all to finish. I, I ain't got no rebuttal. I feel like, she, like she, women got she, the she, most. She, she, a lot of times men know what they want. So it's like, okay, I know that this is what this woman would want. So it's like. So let me ask you this. So have you ever met a guy with money? Yes or no? 
Yes. All right. So with that guy with money, have you ever kind of swayed him to spend money on you? No, I feel like I don't really have to force or sway or. So then, has he just spent money on you? Yeah. I think because he thinks that he's expected to. Okay. In my opinion. Yeah. I was trying to get her to change her mind. But no, she, I think she she's got, definitely, she it's usually a woman that's inf- more influential in a man's life. She's the one behind the scenes making all the moves. Like how many he's times, like, doing it. like, you'll get in a new re- new relationship, next thing you know, you got that extra battery in your back, you know, like, you ready to do more, yeah. like, instead of you mm-hmm. sleeping in till, like, 12, now you up at 10, because she already up, she hey, at work, hey, she texts you, you. now you're up. like, shit, I gotta be doing you're something else. You know hey, hey, any girl I date, she got to know that I'm I'm sleep till 11, 12. But that's after y'all break that new, new time. I step out of your For sure. Yeah, for me, Every for day. Sure. Well, I do a lot of shit I don't want to do. <laughs> I'd rather be at the house. Chill. Most, most, we like peace. Most of course. Most, 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 most times that happens to the men. Yeah, for, that happens for the men, for real. I I agree with um I agree with what Molly said. Well, I think women are more influential just because women could get guys to do things like we do things with the idea of, and I know she likes these fast cars, so I'm gonna have these fast cars. She like these diamonds and all that, so I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this nice high rise apartment because she's gonna come here and like she likes the view. Like gonna take care. We do a lot of things where we it's fueled by women. Like <clears throat> gas going in the car, no women going to men like that. And make us do all this wild shit. I don't know. I, I mean, I obviously think it could go the other way, but I could insert a word that makes more sense. Could men be influ- men could be influential to women, but it depends. You can't say that with guys because guys, we just we're just wired like that. We're just gonna do it. Yeah. But with women, they're gonna be they, there's some speed bumps where they be like, I don't know, or this don't seem right when they hit you with that. Mm-hmm. My intuition is telling me. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. See, what's the idea? You mad? Uh, the how much generosity can you accept before feeling obligated? I don't, I don't pay attention to it, so I wouldn't. I, I would not answer this one. How much generosity before you? I'm, do you ever feel obligated to do so? Because <laughs> I, because I know everything is by choice. If I, you want to do it, or you don't want to do it. <laughs> Um, I think from my past experiences, just because of my nature and how I was like brought up, you just naturally do for people. So beforehand, like, like what I'm trying to say is like a person don't have to do much for me before I start doing for them. Mm-hmm. Like if I fuck with you, you're going to know that. Off the rip, like you're gonna see that, you're gonna feel that, like I'm in your chest. You get what I'm saying? So it's like that's how I am. That's my way of showing you that, okay, like you know, I fuck with you. So that's just how I was raised. Like if you love somebody, you show them that any way possible, feasible. So I don't really feel like you got to do much for me to show you that I fuck with you. Now, if I'm showing you that I fuck with you. Giving me the back door, I'm I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna be like, okay, that's me, you know, that's my fault. But I feel like that's my problem. I just jump out too quick to show people like, hey, I fuck with you. It's just sometimes people don't be as receptive of the energy or they don't know how to receive the energy yeah. because they're not used to receiving that type of energy. Or last time they got burnt. Or la- maybe they did get burned last time, but it's like. I'm here fucking with you, so clearly whatever I went through in the last situation wasn't. They, you feel what I'm saying? So we both trying to do heal. something, right? So. But it's like that—that's on that person. You shouldn't be here talking to me, or we shouldn't be where we at right now if you didn't heal yet. But I think as as people, we all do the same thing where nobody really take time to heal ultimately or fully. We just let some time pass. Figure that's gonna be enough before your next situation and then you get into it and you find out that nope that wasn't even a, a good one so you just we just tack on shit we don't really take time to break things down i, I think, don't really i don't really agree with that fully just because i feel like yeah that does happen where 
you just kind of start piling stuff on, start kind of dating the same people, not really learning the lessons. But at the same time, I feel like we do, we are healing, but it's not like something that you ever stop doing. So things just kind of come up okay. as you're supposed to I agree. heal it. Well, I guess what I'm saying and that what I, I said wrong was we don't take the time to actually do it. We do we do it, but it's at a slower rate. We could be better at if we take our time before jumping and going to the next thing. But we take the itty bitty time. It's like a short vacation. You get two months to regroup, and then you right back into it. Take another vacation. Two months to regroup. Over the course of time, you're gonna get really better at it. You know that's why they say you get better with age and all that. But I think we should be doing better. We should do. We should do. What's the question again? <laughs> um, um, I believe it was how much generosity before you, can I, you accept before feeling obligated? Mm. How much money this nigga spent on you before you feel like, damn, that's I got to do something. No, I'm just giving an example. I just, I just feel like... I'm not saying that's the only thing. Okay. It's an example. Like what she said, like, you just going to come out the gate. And, you know, it's just, it just feel like that's just necessary, like. Whether where, if I'm dating, like it, it doesn't matter if my girlfriend is more generous than I am. Like I'm just gonna be able to reciprocate that from day one, whether she's generous or not. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really think there's just like a maximum limit or whatever to like as far as like generosity. It's just like you're either gonna be that guy or that girl to be able to reciprocate that thing, or you just just not. Or are you gonna be able to give that, give her what she needs, or just not? And yeah, it doesn't take me doing X, Y, Z to be able for for her to be able to get that back to me, or vice versa. It doesn't take X, Y, Z for her to be able to be in that in that zone to be able to for me to reciprocate that. It's just like I I gotta get that off the jump, right? Now um, I can't speak for other niggas, but that's just how that's just how. I move. I'm the guy that's just gonna be able to just give 110 percent up front, um, whether she's giving 110 percent or 20 percent. So that's that's just my take on it. How cute. Um, I feel like I'm yeah, like mostly what you know. I, I feel like I'm naturally obligated, you know, to do right if you do right by me. You know, it's about a. You know, you right by me, I'm right by you. Like, I'm all about the good energy. We all about the good energy. If I don't suspect that good vibe from you and you ain't know you ain't doing right by me, hey, I'm not finna play tip for tap, fly fire with fire. I'm still gonna do right by you. And why you still do me wrong or whatever what you gonna do? Because life, you know, plays its part in every world. So I'm still gonna play my role. So, yeah, pretty much. Yes, Go ahead, break it down. I don't really have much else to break down. Everybody kind of, I kind of agree with everybody in a sense. Um, yeah, I feel like, I don't really feel like there's any limit to um, generosity because like, kind of like what she said, like you're just, as a woman, you're kind of raised to just give. That's just kind of your thing, so. If you take an L, you take an L, but it's, mm-hmm. you're not going to stop giving because it's just in your nature to. Yeah. Like, you feel wrong when you don't. Right. And Dude, you know what? The L's make shit. you strong. Like, yeah, those L's do make you strong. You what? guys actually feel the way. <laughs> the L's you make you stronger, so it's all right. Yeah, yeah like, it yeah. makes you feel you like. Kind of feel, it, it chips away at your, at your, your identity as a woman. Sense. Like, oh. I'm not doing yeah. this right. I'm not. You know, like, I'm not doing what a woman should be doing. Like, you got little girls and you got women. You get what I'm saying? Uh So it's like, if you're incapable of doing certain shit that an actual man, if you had one, a man, I'm not talking about a little boy, Mm -hmm. a man. If you're incapable of doing what he needs you to do as a woman... How you expect that man to be a man to you? Ah shit, it's some fire shit right there. So it's like at the end of the day, we self reflect all the time about everything, the way we carry ourselves, the way we cook, the way we do shit, like all of that. Did it? This real? 
this shit real life. And that's why y'all don't understand the way we think. Because y'all think no, everything is a I drop understand. of a dime. No, I you did it. I did it. Gotcha. I understand. I understand. Yeah, we're we're the we're in y'all do realize that yeah. y'all is like, off the man. Insult, don't take because that. as it is. Oh, it's okay. not insult at all. <laughs> it's not insult at all. That makes y'all think that we don't, we're not, we're not thinking as well. Yeah. We just don't. Uh, yeah. we don't, in it. And we don't address everything. We, yeah. we just uh, we see it and we keep it moving. We move. Like we take our L, like we've been taking L since. It's called not getting the emotions. We getting our emotions a little more deeper than yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, y'all, y'all also, are more uh, also another, That's all another, that is. Another big thing, which is crazy. We can't yeah, say how y'all want to hear. It. Right, because you know, <laughs> we supposed to like reflect. We supposed to reflect off the man. It's it's true. Man, it's the head. We under y'all. We supposed to reflect off y'all, but y'all, if y'all, you know. Play the right part, my right? We play the part right. My favorite thing is y'all not been playing the part right. Men don't speak women, women don't speak men, and yeah. there goes the big issue right there. But like you said, men speak for men and women speak for women. If you're not really playing your role, though, it's gonna be it's gonna be up in the air anyways. That's why that's why you got these women out here trying to regardless. play this independent shit. They got all this other and bullshit crying going on. Sleep. Regardless, crying yourself to sleep, trying to be, <laughs> trying to be independent. You know that ain't you. Question. <laughs> like, you know, like, when you hear a woman talk, and a lot of times you hear a woman say, oh, real man, where are you getting this real man? Yeah. How do you know what, what a is, real well, man yeah, is? What is a real man? You're not a man. You made this, where do y'all get this from? Perceived this notion. of a real man. Well, I don't use that. I don't use that but real man. Lot, right? But exactly. I do hear it. So, so, and sometimes you might agree with it. Like, you're right. Yeah, I agree. As a woman, yes, I, I, I feel as where they're coming from, as far as a real man, I believe they want somebody who who can, like, handle, like, who can, I don't know, probably just, I don't know, because I never what, use that what, phrase. What they saying, guys? A, a real man can be flawed, but I feel like a real man understands his flaws, and he mm. understands what, his imperfections. What, what man is a real man? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. What what yeah. Yeah. A, real what man, a real man is somebody, okay, boom. You got a woman that is dating a man. They married, they got kids, whatever, whatever. This woman busts her ass, she work a job. This man ain't doing nothing. He sits at home all day. He barely take care of the kids. He don't cook. He don't clean. She still got to come home and do all of this on top of work a job. That's not a real man. She can look at him. If she loves him enough, she can be a real man to him. She can yeah, be, she can be a house, real man house husband. But yeah, but at, at the end of the day, that's ultimately his decision. I think if a real he man, don't, I think a real man. Her, like other people might say that's not a real man. Mm. But she loves him enough, that might be yeah, right, I think, I think. But you, you're already saying that's not a real man. Yeah, right. But right. someone that is, is and what I'm I, so. and they don't really even have nothing to do with gender roles because I'm my type of person. I'm gonna hustle regardless. Like that's not that's, what we're saying. That's no, what but what I'm saying though. is, but, but me, what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, it. it don't matter with me whether I'm the one working and you at home, or you the one working. I'm at, or am I'm at home, or if we going. Both hard and we going 50 50 on the bills. However, it go, that's how it go. But that's my perception. And when you're talking about it, you're right. It is everyone's different perception. Right. What so. I think and what you think is two different things. But ultimately, you ask me. What's a real man to you? A real man to me is someone that's going to make sure home is straight. And that don't just mean taking care of the bills, that just means anything. Where does this idea of a real man come from? My father. Yeah, yeah, so you got a father that 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 set the standard for you. Definitely. Cool. He's the is, is he the mold of a real man? So you're looking for a guy who fit the mold of him. Not necessarily, because don't get me wrong, my yeah. father was not perfect. This is, this is this my is father was not perfect. Right. This is what we said. My father was not perfect. I got what I can say. You said real man, but he was not perfect. What I can say is what I can say. What I can say is, is that my dad made sure that his kids did not want for anything. His baby mothers, if they needed, he provided. Despite whatever he had going on, despite whatever, how, how many, because mm -hmm. it's a whole lot of us. Mm -hmm. I'm the youngest out of eight. Mm -hmm. I'm the only girl. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, that's what a real man is. 
taking care of it by any means necessary. Never giving with your sprinkle, kids with a sprinkle of, of, of flaws. I need we need that. With you a sprinkle got, of flaws. Everybody got flaws. That's not, how, that's not how it's said though. Nobody's so, perfect. You're not a real man because you're not doing. To me. Who said that? J. Cole. Come on, man. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Here. Okay, you got something to say about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. I feel, and this is my opinion now, I, as I was sitting and thinking, like, besides all the money, substantial, how they work, how you live, what you're doing, what they got, I feel like what they mean, the real man is, is like unconditional love for them, about who they are, and for no matter what they're going through, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? No matter what they got going in their life, uh, flaws and all, y'all can be broke. Both of y'all on the side of the road together. Real love. I feel like a real man is going to stick with her no matter what. Like, I think that's what, in my opinion, what they're talking about. I, I think I think the the real good point about this whole thing uh, with the idea of what it, when when we're, we're trying to say when women say we use the term real men when they speak to men like go oh, you're not a real man because you're not doing that it it's not the same it that thing varies all over the thing and we have to try to figure out what it is from speaking to them on what it is because what this girl may say is a real man as we just heard three different options of what real men are so yeah we I I think what kind of like what everybody's saying but in their own way is kind of like you just figuring out who is your person because like you said it's all based on perception anyways because what one person may deal with somebody else not going to deal with in a sense but if you're being who you are supposed to be in an authentic way it's kind of like you'll match up with that person anyways no matter where you're at what are the three undeniable traits of a real man let's get a consensus consensus like, because it can't stability oh. has to be on the list. Mm-hmm. Stable, 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 so stable. 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 stability. It's just All one aspect. word. No, you one can be word. emotionally stable. Not because okay. stable. All across the board, but of course, uh, as we already board. discussed, okay. you have to be. You're, of course, everybody's flawed, but we're talking about a baseline personality or quality, right? Okay. So okay. we'll we'll add stability as one. What's the other two? I didn't even search for nothing. I was getting everybody an nah, opportunity. No, nah, no, nah, hold on. <laughs> I mean, my three, it's, I have a lot of trade on. No, nah, this is a group thing, so she threw out stability. I would stability. say hardworking. Hardworking. Yeah, hardworking. Because I'm nobody. So would you say that drive? That's stable, though. No, that's not. That's all I Yeah. Yeah, that's hardworking. Hardworking falls under, under stability. Loving. Loving. Okay. What would you say? So he's loving multiple women. So he's would you? Real man. So would you say emotionally into? He got love. Well, though. if he has love for me, and I know he has love for me, and we feel the love, because love is my like something like so like simple like everybody can just say like people say that and you I mean, like, so a lot of niggas just say they love. A yeah, girls, and and you got to really mean it though. Like you like, you don't know if it's real love. Like, what was that? Love. So what's real love? Real we love talk, is, we can talk about that too. To me, it's an opinion because real love is a lot of definitions. So Cause to real, me, because real love for me could be like real man, real love is just yeah, it, it, everything it just, just makes sense, just not. How is it's all subjective? That's it. But they use it in a way to make it seem like it's finite. Yeah. And we're like, what is it? What are you talking about? We ask them. They can't tell us what they tell us a bevy of other different things. And we're sitting there like, wait, what? I do this, this, this. We start listening to all the stuff that we do that fall underneath these guidelines of what she's saying. But that's how she feels at the moment. And the next day is going to be a different mindset. It's all subjective. Yeah. So real that, man, real is, love, you got to figure it out with the person you're dealing I, with. That's why I'd rather a girl tell me Damn, what she that's crazy. versus what she wants. Right? She can tell me what she wants, but that could be off the basis of her looking at other people. Experiences, and then what you need at this given moment in time, or what you may need in the course of time, that might be the determining factor of how our love will be, or how we treat you, or wh- whatever it may be. Versus what you want, watching somebody's Instagram or 
what your homegirl got going on. You feel me? So that's like the girl who stays with the guy who who been cheating on her this whole time. Everybody looking like, man, she crazy as hell for being with that dude. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, the dude's been cheating. When he home work, he's the greatest thing ever. She love it. Then she yeah, find out about this. She like, yeah, because what this she is her real love. Yeah, but we as people, mean. we sit there like crucified, like. Oh, man, bitch, you crazy as hell. Couldn't be me. And, and, and the yeah. thing is, a lot of people, like, when they hear cheating, yeah, it's, it's a... It's a cheating is it's not... It's kind of horrible, but it's cheating, not... How, cheating how is it's, bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cheating That's is not the hold worst on. thing in a relationship. It's, it's, and ideally, it's horrible for, for the woman aspect, right? Because that feel like, you know, like, you're giving away my resources. Yeah, and it's there, there's, there's levels to cheating, it's, it's, right? It's vice versa. Hold too. on, there's levels to cheating, right? Mm-hmm. There's there's when you're sharing your resources. That's that's the ultimate, like, yo, you wasting your money on other bitches when you have a family here. That's mad disrespectful. But then you have the other cheating, which I don't think is bad, but I don't believe in cheating, is when you're just fucking and not sharing resources. It's just like, oh, I'm fucking and I'm leaving. She look good, I'm a smash. And I'm going back home to my wife. But that's not cheating, though, because you're not in a relationship with nobody. So cheating is being in a relationship? I feel like cheating is when you're like... That's subjective, too, though. It can be, because I've I've heard both sides. Nah, listen. You have to be in a relationship in order for it to be cheating. You you can't cheat during the the talking stage. Right, you can't cheat during the talking stage. You're not together. How long is the talking stage, by the way? Six, Talk saying it be months. whatever you want it, how long you want it. Yeah, until y'all six make months. it official. Yeah, what? y'all it's make up it to y'all. official. Wait, if he said he wanted to make it official, you make it official on that day he said that? Not a girl? No. That See? might depend on how you feel too. If, if hold we on, got, hold you on. You got to agree hold on, on it first of all. Wait, at, at what, what date do y'all count y'all relationship start, ladies? Do y'all count from the first date or do y'all count from when y'all, y'all say, all right, we official? Mm. Oh, oh, y'all still wait for? Wait, the... what was the question? When what? do you, where do, you, when do y'all really start the counting relationship. the relationship? Mm. Do y'all mm. count from the first date, or do y'all count from when y'all say, "Oh, we're a uh, boyfriend item, we're, we're together, we're, yeah. we're, we're locked in. official, okay. yeah, definitely we're official," because okay. we're not walking around here delusional, fucking and all that. Ass, nah, because we actually <laughs> serious. I, I asked because because I had girls nah, in the past like, where seriously. where it will become official, but then they'll be like, "Oh, now we're official." I'm still counting from our first date. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So all that time ain't wasted. It's like training on the yeah. job. Yeah, I'm getting paid. <laughs> for I still got paid. I got paid. Yeah, Matter but fact, you know, they gave me on T. <laughs> Shit, I got this paid stuff. Yeah. What? Yeah. What you mean? Well, I'm talking I about got my I, got I was my, on the job for 90 days. Insurance about to hit. Yeah. So uh, I, I thought it was it like count. You said they're going to fuck me over like it's, that. No, no I actually don't count. Though. You're going to cut right, my change? I need all my little pennies. I need all my pennies. Come on now. You got to have something before you get something. Then he working for free? Come on now. Something got to be You can't just. It's Listen, listen. We got community service. Is it wrong to audition? Look, look, right. I, I go from the first day, we go, that first official date, that's where I go off. Come on, Listen, that's 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 happened to me before. Show that audition, just pick OJT. somebody. How you, but how you, you know you even him. like them at that first date for real? <laughs> for, if, if I take you on a date, I like you. <laughs> for me, it's just like I when, I, when, when I when I say this. Yeah, yeah. I'm dating this girl. That's a, what the first date is. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Back. You know, I've been in this situation before. Seriously. Yeah, I've messed with you three times, the third date, and you're dating. Hold on, T and Shard, go ahead. No, all right. T and Shard. Oh, me? Okay, I said I've been in that situation before. I was dating somebody, but I thought we were just dating. Like, Wait, what? Yeah, we said it again, say it again. I thought we were, no, like dating, like casually dating, like going on dates. No, not in a yes. relationship dating. That word is not subjective. That I word, thought. Is, is, I every thought. Every time I'm busting them checks. Because, come every, on now. Every swipe, every tap. He yeah. never said yeah. we're official. That. Some, sometimes. Until. we're dating. One day. Terms count. I asked him. I'm like, okay. Like, I'm curious at this point. Like, because, you know, I liked him at that point. I'm like, um. Are we, you know, like, are we ever going to get serious official? He was like, what are you talking about? You've been my girlfriend for, like, yeah, three months thing. now. That's and I'm really like, really and I was like, okay. when were you going to let me know that? That's how yeah, guys do it. That's how guys do it. A nigga let you know about this. If he don't hesitate, <laughs> if he like what you want to eat, I got this. Because oh, most guys don't do I, that. If I, if I feed you, if, I got this. If I feed you two or two or more times, you're my girl. Yeah. Put See, every guy don't do that. Most guys don't do that though. If a nigga asks you hungry, 
Lord, you three times. If I ask you to be my girl, you're my wife. Yeah. So if a dude. No, if I ask you to be my girl, you're my wife. But if I don't say nothing, you're my girl. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I was about to ask y'all. If I'm already you acting like a husband, you're my wife. Do you want to be my girlfriend type shit? No, I take you, you out two more that? times, you're my first girl. First of all, it's law. Don't. What's law? Oh, shit. Don't assume. What's don't, law? Don't assume. First of all, it's I would law. Say you thing. need to. Huh? You need I to make speak it Japanese. Yeah, exactly. We need to make it very official. Stop it. What is very Japanese? I'm taking you out to dinner. Hold up, Japanese. Because sometimes y'all be bluffing to get the ass, and that's when y'all leave us and y'all do all that. How am I bluffing after I fuck twenty times already? And I'm still here. We ain't talking about twenty times. Y'all talking about a date. Y'all said a first date. I was just about. I take you out to eat. More than three times. I give you. I give you some good ass dick. I talk to you. Look, everybody's sitting there. Listen, nah, like, so, so, you're telling, so you're telling me you're not my girl? I'll be scared. You just gave me this good ass, ass dick. Oh my god. Marley, Marley, Marley. Marley, Marley. No. Marley, what's up? Like, what's you, <laughs> you just gave me this good <laughs> ass dick. I'm scared <laughs> now. Like, he finna leave me. He finna leave me. He done dick me down. He done fed me. He wants you to say the obvious. Like, he done dick me down. I'm scared. He had done dicking down the other girls. I listen to your emotions. I take you out to eat. Uh uh-uh. uh, you I'm digging them down to other you. girls. You digging them other girls I'm down like you digging me. I'm like, scared. Oh. I'm scared. What? She nah, listen. It is. You gotta have money to cheat. Clearly. So if you see, if a nigga is cheating, it, no, it's gotta be. Listen, right. it, it gotta be. I, I can't afford to cheat. Below? Let's just say that. I, I don't want to cheat. Y'all yeah, got it. Five below is cool, by the way. Hold on. Let me turn your mic up. Hold on. Say that again. That don't stop it from going on though. What she said. Oh, if there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. And these niggas, especially broke so, niggas. So, so what's the difference? Me telling you my girl versus me not? I can still cheat on you. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that's I why can, we. Know, that's why we. That's, why we, that's so why we let y'all. That's why we let y'all. That's why we let y'all audition. That's why we let y'all go through the audition. The difference is that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Turn up. Pull your mic a little bit. So back. So hold up. Back. What what matters more, actions or words? And lower it a little bit. Hold on. What matters more, actions or words? Because we we hear you. Hold on, hold on. We hear oh, you perfectly. Shit. So you don't have to talk into the mic. Just you yeah, can just talk you right there. Like, yeah. Say a few words. Free. Yeah. You good? So you don't gotta be up on the mic. Sure. I can make you my girl. So you no word. No, you good. You good. With a title. title. With a title. Or without. Hold on. Say it again. No, hold on. But my right. thing is, my thing is, what matters more, actions or words? Fucking actions. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Actions. Actions. Ooh. Ooh. So if I treat you like my girlfriend, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, right? One mic, Boom. One mic. Hold on. If I one treat mic. you like my girlfriend and I don't say it, why, why, why would it matter if I, hey, you my girl? I could still cheat on you. You're not my girl. Well, it won't be cheating, but I could still talk to another girl if you're not my girlfriend versus, hey, you my girl. I cheat on you. What, hey, what's the difference? Okay. I can say, Hold on. What, what does it matter? Like, really that's, and matter. that's why I was never big on titles because I can still do the same thing. I can still make that commitment and cheat versus me making the commitment and not verbalizing it and still do my thing. Like it's all about the vibes. It's all about the vibes. Hold on, hold on. That's just another thing. I want to get married, but even if I get married, what's the difference? I can still cheat. You get to move. I know it's it's more legal ties now. But it's also you just like, can't I can still no, I can still give you that energy. Honestly, marriage is, I can, I can, is marriage is what? just insurance for women. It is. I could put you on my hip. I could put you on my arm. <laughs> and and we not. And I never said we were boyfriend or girlfriend. But you've been the only girl I've been seeing for two years. My actions should make you feel good. So no. so why so why at that point for two years you the only girl I've been no. fucking, the only girl I've been seeing, taking out, spending time with you been in my bed. We, hey, we've been watching Stranger Things. All types of shit. This nigga and you free mean, promo. Been wearing no, my jersey. No, no. And you mean to tell me after two years, still in my boxer shorts? All that. You got I got. I got. I got to okay, tell yes. you, my girlfriend. Okay, I want to ask. Okay, you a yes, that matters. Hold on, okay. go ahead, T. One mic. So in in those type of situations, you right. talking to a female for this long, y'all <laughs> make nothing official, right? When y'all get into little arguments because y'all ain't cupcake stage them whole two years, y'all done got right. into it. Y'all done. Y'all done came into some bumpy roads. Mm-hmm. You ain't never remind this girl that y'all was an official? Nope. You don't do that? Nope. No, that's disrespectful. Nope. Why okay. That? Because like I, I feel like if if I invested all like two years is a lot of time. It's a lot of time. Right. If I'm if I'm then. genuinely in, in into a girl for two years and not making it not making it I guess it's official but unofficial, right? 
So I'm not giving her a title for two years, right? I'm not looking at no other girl, or I'm not gonna remind her of the fact that I'm hey, I never said you were my girl. Like you've been at my crib at, that, at two years, you probably don't met my mom, already, <laughs> right? But I still haven't made it official. And it's still not like, you know, action. for me, official is when I go ahead and propose. Like I can't, I can't just be like you, my girl, and then like because that happens, right? I could, I can nah, meet a girl. I can meet a girl tonight, it. right? Two weeks later, she's my girlfriend, and then we break up two weeks after that. That's like. For for that girl, because I already know for me it's just a title. For the girl, it's everything. So I, I go ahead and make that girl official. Emotionally, I don't damage them, right? On that on that aspect. But if I don't say anything, but I still my actions speak louder than my words. Mm. I'm still doing boyfriend and girlfriend shit. I'm still treating you like how you want to be treated. Listening to all your problems, all your 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 the shit that you vented to me about, vice versa, right? Why do I gotta make you my girlfriend? Why well, will not make you my girlfriend? Why do I have to say you're my girlfriend? Right, it it makes no difference because end of the day, I can still cheat on you if I wanted to, right? Mm-hmm. I can still talk to multiple girls if I wanted to, whether you're my girlfriend or not. So it's just really like that's why I think titles are dumb. Titles doesn't matter until I get on one knee, propose to you because now legal legal matters. Uh, titles. Words mean things, man. I'm sorry. Nah, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't I really agree. don't. Yeah, believe in I, and then you write about all that because but like a lot of about... a lot of women like words of affirmation, right? I can tell her she's beautiful, or I can treat her like she's beautiful, right? Or I can tell her like you my everything, but I can treat her like my everything, and and that, and that's why I don't like that words of affirmation shit, right? Because I can say a whole bunch of shit that make and you feel good like and not act on it. But that's co- that's, that's co- like that's, that's a cop out. That's, that's co- a cop out too, because they say it, we you just ask them a question like it, action means more than you know than words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody but, says action. At, but at a we, point. You, we, you also hit another point saying that their love language is words of affirmation. That shit don't add up. Right. The that's word, confusing. Right, but that's actions though. That's actions. How? Because but they want that. Women words, want words women of want, affirmation. Women want to be a fr- hold on, uh, like, hold on, hold on, women want to be hold a on, hold on. Everybody wants reassurance. Exactly. Our affirmations is just reassurance. I even want that shit. When you're at work, you 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 get reassurance that you're doing a good job. When you not always. When, when not you don't, always. And when, my, and I mean, my boss hold on, hold on. And when you don't, <laughs> and when you don't, right? When you don't get anything, you feel uneasy. Right. You don't feel certain. So women, they they are emotion based and feelings based. So if they're not, you can speak those words. After a while, they're gonna start acting different if you're not. Walking the walk, the actions that you're talking about. No, I, so yeah, I, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. You could talk and be like, "Oh yeah, I, you're beautiful," and keep saying it. But if you're not treating her like she's beautiful, at some point she's gonna cut you off. And, that, so, and, that's, so, and that's what goes so, back to. The so that goes fat back. Fat. Hold on, that goes back to women believing in actions. Oh yeah, he say that. He say that. But is he doing it? No. no. And then that's when the homegirls come in and they be like, is, "What he do for you, girl? Oh, nothing really." Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Oh, that nigga ain't so, do nothing so for it, you. Oh, that nigga ain't like, like, like it's like words of affirmation is just like I'm 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 saying shit to make you feel good, but women want action, right? So I can be like you the most beautiful girl in the world. I love you. I'm gonna take you out, I'm gonna treat you like XYZ. The right? words I can, I can say that. Like like I've seen like niggas sauce a girl up off their words. Knowing that that works. It works. But because that's what they that's action. what they want. Everything works. But not all women everything but works. Everything works. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everything works to a point. Right, you right. can say stuff, but you got right. after but after the, a while. Right we gonna, gonna be waiting right on that later. Gonna be like, you know what? I feel good. Right tomorrow, she's gonna be like, all right. You said you like me. All right, let me talk, man. Yeah. Let me talk, man. Yeah. You you with a girl, right? Yeah. You 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 doing everything that a man's supposed to do, and she hasn't given you sex yet, right? Mm-hmm. You you go in for six months, keep doing what you're doing. You still gonna be with her a year yeah. later? Yeah. You gonna still you gonna keep doing everything? A year later, you said six months. Six months to a year later, you still gonna be dealing with that same girl that's not giving you no pussy at all, but you're doing everything you're supposed to do. Your honor, that girl was never I, in my I, life. I, honestly, yeah. <laughs> because I, I I can guarantee you, if a girl right, next come, question, guys. Hold on, next no, question. If a girl's holding out on it, I, I can <laughs> like promise Thanos, it's worth, was a blip, I probably yeah. it might be worth it. Right, it might it might be that fire where she's like, I don't want to. Shard, 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 you can have Marley, 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 what's, Marley, what's that shit that you said we were speaking? What's she said? Marley, what's that shit you said we were speaking? Capanese. That's Capanese. Capanese, my boy. Niggas ain't waiting six weeks. Because we want to give it to you. We going to give it to you, babe. No matter how you spend it. You ain't spending your bread. Because, like, no, but, like, 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 but legit, no, but legit, aside from that, though. There's people who wait, though. No, there's some people who wait. But aside from that, women want more action words, right? There are people who wait. Purity words. Because, like, I can just recall the situation to where 
I've done a lot of action <laughs> shit, right? Just speaking for me. I've done a lot of action shit, or I felt like I've done a lot of action shit, but it's just like me not vocalizing it is like completely different. And I'm just like looking at the shit like, what are you talking about? I'm not doing X, Y, Z. Like, I took you out. I'm listening to everything. Like, is it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like, God damn, you want action? I'm never going to be like, I, I, I'm going to tell a girl I love you, but inadvertently, like, I might let a girl, I might not say it initially, but... I might buy you flowers. Do I you might... really love her if you're not telling her? Like, let's be real, bro. Yeah, you can't. You I'm can. a nigga, man. I'm, can, I'm a nigga. If I love I'm you, not, I'm, I'm telling not saying, you. I'm not saying you're gonna ever. I'm not saying. Hold up. I'm not saying you're gonna ever go like a long period without telling her you love her. But it might be a moment. Where you just right, like, now y'all, y'all, y'all. No, 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 hold I got to keep it real. Y'all no, some man bullshit nah, I'm, right No, now. I'm just yeah, being G. I'm being G. You can't say what we are. Y'all no, I'm being G. I'm being G. And be I might, I might go a period where I might be in my mind. I'm like, damn, I really love this girl. And I'm acting out of love. Yeah, I'm doing that But she shit. might, she might say something for me to just be like, you know what? I do love you. Right. But I always felt like my actions, like I'm, I'm an actions kind of guy. I'm going to take you out to eat. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to make you feel good. But I may not say what you want me to say, but everything that I've done up until that point may have been like, all it's right. It's with the intent. And, yeah, it's the intent. I'm, the intent is, hold on, the intent is everything, Y'all, y'all know I'm always on the nigga side, but look, bro. Go, bro. How, how, how <laughs> do you love her if, if she tells you that she needs words of affirmation? Let me ask you this. And you're, you hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let me get oh, the question ahead, out. Let me first, get the question right, out. <laughs> How can you say, oh, I'm acting like I love you? And she told you times again, I need words of affirmation to, to really feel validated, right? And you still don't do it. So how, do you really love her if you're not doing yes. if you're not I, if you're not I, following her, wait, wait, her, yeah. her 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 interpretations of telling you what she needs? Yes. If you're not giving her everything she needs, do you really love her? Yes. You cause at the same token she said Rick, Rick, at the same token she's telling you that that. You're telling her, I came from a, a, I was raised in a a world or a house where words of affirmation ain't something that's second nature to me. So it isn't going to be something that I do off rip. I'm going to need work at it. So when you say you want this, I'm going to tell you, I want to do that for you. I don't know how. So give me time. It ain't going to be today. You don't know how to tomorrow, say, hey, I someday. love you, nigga. You don't know how to talk. Yeah, I, I can, I can yeah, tell, I can tell, weird, bro. I can tell a hundred you know, girls. You know, I can tell it. People don't express like that. Hey, I'm sorry, ladies. Sure, hey, I see hey, what y'all ladies. going through. No, right. and, I, and I, I live with men. Yeah. God, no, I live with dude that do not express himself with words. But eight yes, years. Yes. And then, yes. oh. Right. But his actions spoke oh, 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 for you, right? I got, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, hold on. This is a perfect question I went over today. I didn't put it in the box, but when is. How am I raised? When is how, how is that's how I raised is a valid excuse? It's not a valid excuse. If you understand, if if you're an adult, that's, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it is it's, excuse it's an excuse. It's not a valid. It's a it's not a it valid is. excuse. I don't care how you was raised. We're all at an adult age now, where you gotta. We're at the oh. uh, maturity or the the level of thinking. We where, know now. Hold on, we know now. We so, know now. So I don't want to hear these. Past experience, but because how sometimes but somebody, people raised, but some their, people, their minds are not like that. How Rick, some people are, some you, people are raised, some Rick, people Rick, you know raised some, you know, so cloaked in. Like, they they went open out to the world, so they you know really what got that, out you know there. Their mind is finish, fucked finish. up. The reason, for real, uh, to they mind is off fucked her, up. You know what that, you, that to what? piggyback off her. The reason why it's a valid excuse because you uh, you were uh, one of the few people who are, who are unable to. I mean, who are able to unlearn some of that bullshit you grew up with. These people don't know how to do that. You if I grew up in the hood, I'm a hood it's not baby. That's a valid excuse, bro. You can't tell him. I don't give a fuck. You can't it's not tell a valid him. excuse. You can't tell him. Hey, hey, I don't care. I don't, I don't care where you came from, bro. The education is there. The internet is there. You choose to understand and learn what you need to learn. Yeah, I don't learn at your pace. You can't tell I'm not it's giving not you no cop outs, my, my Jesus. I feel so like the way you thinking right now. Wait, here's the thing. After a while, you're going to learn. I get what y'all are saying, and I also get what Ricky's saying as well. because, But I kind of see it both ways because yeah yeah you could basically learn at a different pace and you could heal at a different pace to where because some people will do that and they're not even aware that they're doing that because they're just not conscious that they're still you know reacting that way yeah 
But at the same time, once you are aware that you're doing that, that's when it becomes like a poor excuse. Like you can't that's, really what, that's where I'm at. So if you, take, if, if you take if you take if you take a say for <laughs> okay. example, we take the project of all project babies, like the the dude that we see at any kind of project. No, where hold on, because once you realize that you're. You, once you realize, because you have to deal She's with right. real consequences as an She's adult. right. You got to discipline yourself. No. You, you, you could go, lose. Go, you go, could go, lose. One mic, one mic. You could go, lose out on people next, that yeah. you didn't even mean to hurt in a sense. You didn't even mean to push away or whatever, put baggage on, whatever the case may be. But you still do. That's still real life consequences that you have to deal with. I understand, what you, I understand what you're saying. What I'm saying is, what I disagree with what you guys are saying. It's like still, it's unvalid. If I take the project of all Project Hood Babies, the one guy... That we see unanimously in every uh, project in the United States, we know what type of guy that is. And you tell him, "Hey, go act like a, a, a Fortune 500 company uh, boss." No one is saying that, and, bro. But you, but listen, no I'm telling. But listen that. to what I'm telling you. Listen, what I'm telling you. What I come from. This is what I know. This is what I learned. You're saying that you, right. you're saying this is this is what you're saying. We have the resources now to know how to go ahead and be better. If he doesn't doesn't care about this over here. He don't have to learn over what that is. He does not have to care and, about and, it. And that's and this is what I'm saying. You went it's to you went, you went to an extreme where you, you said Fortune 500 from the slums. I'm not saying that. What I'm talking about is, you said is, is, is from basic, your past. I'm talking about basic behavior shit. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I think it, baby, go ahead, go ahead, let, put him in Wall Street. Let, let, he let, can't eat. No, you're going, you're going too far of an extreme. No, I'm not. I'm not saying. You're, you're, listen, you're hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I get exactly what you're saying, but you're missing what I'm saying. I'm not I'm talking about. I'm said. not talking about being changing who you are overnight, a hundred percent to a hold completely from Kodak Black to to Steve Jobs. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, you understand where you lack at, and and if you keep doing that, it's you can't, you can't. If you if you keep going to a job, hold on, hold on. Thing, bro. I get what you're saying. saying. I get I get what she was saying too because it's like when you when you realize he's not doing bad. But but this is his life. This is what I'm saying. Let me let me break it down this way. This if yeah, you yeah, go well, to if you get fired from every job you had, right, over the same reason, right? Somebody got you hot, and and you got to go handle that, right? How many times you gonna keep getting hot and keep getting fucking fired where you where 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 somebody keeps getting on your nerves? How many times you're not gonna survive, bro? You know how many niggas die because somebody got them hot? There's niggas who do it. Yeah, because I get I get what you're saying. And when you don't learn, hold on. And when you don't learn, and when you don't learn, hold on, hold on. And when you don't and when you don't learn and you don't mature, you die. Period. That's all I'm saying. I get what y'all saying because at the end of the day, when everybody don't hit that same. Yeah, it don't, don't matter, bro. At a certain point, that matter. excuse doesn't Nobody. matter no more. At a certain point, that's what I'm saying. You can use that excuse as uh, for a, f- a couple of years, but once after like the thirtieth time of you doing that, how is that a valid excuse? Here. That don't make sense. You, you right. did you did it thirty times, bro. How is that valid? I don't care. You learn slow, nigga. You gotta learn thirty times that this is the wrong thing to do. You gotta learn thirty times that this ain't this ain't right. After 30 times, bro, throw the book at him. I'm done with you. Bye. I don't care, bro. Well, okay. People got to own their shit, like bro. Well, People got to own their shit. Point, they're gonna realize I'll, say I'll say this, though. This Everybody good. can't be saved. I'll, try this stuff. I'll say this, though. Everybody can't be saved. Like, I see what you're saying, and that's something that you also probably have, like, personally, like, learned from. Yeah, I also personally. believe this. Like, there are dudes out there that are making plenty of money selling drugs, doing scams, and they just keep doing it. And that's the only thing that they know how to do. Some people don't understand what stocks are because yeah. nobody teaches them. So wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Well, the thing is, it's, it'll be too late for them to even understand what the consequences are because people don't even understand what consequences can, how it can get you in the bad spot. Because like what they if you're say, around all those back people. what we say is how you was raised. Some people want to raise on consequences yeah. on how to raise a sit If you don't understand what consequences are, then you're going to keep doing the same thing. Some people, right. Yeah. Some people want to raise so on genuine generosity. If I'm moving on survival, I'm not thinking to say I love you. I'm happy. Yeah. Because I'm happy because I'm trying to stay alive. I don't know what I'm love. Really I don't know what love is, so yeah. I'm supposed to know what love is because I get to a certain age. Next question. Man. I never. I, I ain't never got that. Hey, fin for your. Hey, tell me they love me. I'm gonna tell them okay and then walk look, off. Look, look, man. I'm gonna end it like this, and then we move to the next question. Hey, man. You a product of your environment. Believe in that shit. Do do you be be that slow learner, bro? Education's right there in your phone. That phone you got. You, you we're the most connected. We have the most information at all time. I'm tired of that excuse, bro. Y'all can have that. We got next.
Oh, you got spicy. No. Oh, Ooh, oh okay. I got a dot on it. <laughs> There's a dot on that bit. Yeah, All right. Have you ever told a partner they weren't good in bed, in parentheses, in the moment or after? Oh, I'll go. Tell us first. I want to build it. So I said it after. And by after, I mean like in the moment. <laughs> So, like, of course you don't want to say that in a moment because at the end of the day, like, I'm still trying to get my nut wet. I'm going to get my nut one way or the other. It may not be a, a pleasant nut, but it's a, a nut to nut, right? So, after the fact, y'all probably done, you probably done stop talking to the girl. Y'all probably reconnected as friends. And you probably jokingly brought it up, but as a joke, but you dead ass serious. It wasn't good. But that's, that's, that was like maybe, like, I think twice I've it up where it was trash. Sounds too real for a second. Nah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it G. Like if it's if it's trash, but if it's if it's trash, if it's trash and I stayed for a little bit, you probably got something else down there, like a a, a really major quality. But I feel like if you ain't got no qualities that I like, and I end up having sex with you and it was trash, I'm probably just gonna keep it G. Like girls do that all the time, so I can't lie to you. you feel me? So right about that. Hey. Girls don't go out on dates with guys they don't want to be with just for the date, like for the ambiance and the food. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Hey. It be rough, man. Some girls just ain't got it like that. Uh, no, no, I feel like I did that before when he, when he said, like, you know, and <laughs> This is way after the joking manner. You were dead ass, but you you know you don't get to uh, saying that. Um. Yeah, but then it probably come up again if the girl really cares about it. Then you'd be like, "Yeah, I was serious that one time I said that. I wasn't that." So I right, I think that I think that's it. We won't. Nah, it, it definitely comes up again. Yeah, because I've I've had it come up again. Like, I had to change the whole subject. Like. Dead ass, but no, it, it it is, and I tell I tell people that all the time it's the truth in every joint, but like definitely. Well, I'll go first for the ladies because my ass is not that brutal. But Hold on, did B go? Yeah, mm-hmm. we, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Right, my ass is not that brutal. Like me, if it's bad, I'm not gonna tell them. Like no way, nowhere near. Like I don't have you know times where I had some bad says like. Ugh. But I never, like, told him because you never know. Like, I probably done did something he didn't like or I probably done had, you know what I'm saying, wasn't all the way for him. He didn't say anything either, so we just... So you not ready for the back? No, it's not that. I'm, I don't... At the end of the day, like, that's hurting a man's pride. You tell him, like, he ain't good in bed. Like, come on now. At least he giving you the dick. At least y'all doing it. At least so, he giving so you the dick. So like, be more, appreciative of that. Like, so damn, he ain't had to do that. What's more important to you, a sexual needs or a man's pride? A man's pride, because at the end of the Whoa. day, hey, I don't, I don't need your sex. I can get my own nut, my own way. Yo, so that's true. Hey, she, give, her, give her a trophy. She's right though. Raptor, she's up. She's right. Damn. I, I thought she was gonna say something. What, what part yeah, of Georgia are you from again? What yeah, part I of Georgia? I ain't got nothing to say. I did my part from mine. Mm. Because, because Atlanta is different. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you giving me, you know what vibe? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what vibe she giving me? New challenger. She giving me Monica vibe. That's what I said. Let me go Excuse first. Me. Mm-hmm. Um, you Monica right oh, now. Oh, for good pleasure. Like, if you going to half-ass me, I'm a dead-ass tell you in the mist. Just stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up. We could just stop this right here. You might fuck him up for life. And, and you know what? Hey. Somebody needs to be because he should have never brought me that mediocre dick. <laughs> because I'm not bringing no, like, you mediocre legit. pussy. Like, and let the my, church I'm say. Not, let amen, the church say. Okay? Amen. I'm not right. bringing you mediocre pussy. But is the head mediocre? No, I'm it don't matter. Because nah, that guess do what? Matter. Hey, 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 how does he know he guess gives you? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? No, but guess what? Guess what? Your head could be fire, but if your dick is not good, I am going to go... I ain't gonna go cheat on you. Oh, but sometimes some guys, I know he giving you <laughs> mediocre dick. I ain't gonna go cheat on you. Hold on, hold on. What's your sign? Hold on, hold on. What's your sign? No, I've not oh. cheated What's your sign? What's your sign? I will. What's your sign? I'm, I'm a Leo. I don't give a fuck. Oh, of course. Y'all cheat. 
No, we don't. I don't know about no, it's like that sounds bad. if anything, I'll leave somebody before I'll cheat on them. That's like I really will. Say. No, but I'll, sometimes a guy don't feelings. I don't care, but it's better than me going. You're never gonna be able to point at me and say you did me wrong. You so, are unloyal. So, so you tell me this I'm guy big got on that. everything that you want. He got bread. He treats you good. He loves you. He's a real man. He got. You say you say you had kids. A real man gotta have real dick. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> she, she Sorry. All right, I'm done. Sorry. 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 So all right. So but like so sometimes, sometimes a guy don't know. Did. Sometimes a guy don't know that he's giving yeah. mediocre dick. Sometimes he's giving all he got. Like he don't like. And, yeah. Like. He, he and, at that point, and at that so point, that's take, when I have, no. I have to take that time and self reflect and say, meme? "Baby, you not for me." You seen the meme? So, you, we gonna, so you need that. So you I need that. Right. gotta hold have on, it. Y'all seen, y'all seen the meme where, the, where it's like uh, what she keeps saying is deeper, and then she's like, "This is all I got." That's only so much. Right, right. It's, it's all he got. Like, what if that's it's all he can give? Like, he's giving what he's giving. I'm like. And I'm, like, I'm, telling you. I'm in your soul right now. You talking about deep? Like, <laughs> relax, <laughs> like chill. <laughs> Any deeper, you can't breathe. I'm gonna touch you. Sorry. I just say that hey. because I've dealt with somebody who had no. trash sex. Oh. Their oh. dick was small, not oh. long at all. Because that's unfortunate. Oh, I did. I did. See? It, it happened like once or twice. See? Like the first yeah, time, yeah, I was yeah, like, "Wait, yeah, this, yeah. did this really exactly happen? Why. Like, was this?" It was this like a exactly dream. Why. I was a little lit. I was a little drunk. So I'm like, "Wait, did this really happen? Mm-hmm. Like, was you really like bad like that?" Mm-hmm. 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 I ran it back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I ran it back. Mm-hmm. I spin the block to double check. You're a real one. You're a real nigga. And I'm like, "Wait a minute. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You gotta give me this. This is horrible. But then it was like." The way you act behind it, the niggas with the worst dick, the smallest dick, be acting like they just got it Yo, going on. Yo, she's like, she, she he don't really have like, to. You gotta try. He don't have to because baby, she, they gotta she, try I'm harder. embarrassed you. They gotta try harder. He's but, right. But you gotta try harder to make up for your size. They need it you gotta make it up. Out here trying to. They gotta try their hardest because they're the ones who get eat now. They're the ones who get eat. You know what? I'm gonna just. No, no, no. We need that. We need that. So funny to me. What's, what's what you that? mean, body bag? Put that mic closer to you. I said those are the ones who would leave you in a body bag, as in leave you, as in win. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like so do you want for, for <laughs> saying for saying something like that? Because those men tend to carry a lot oh, of pride. Oh, you're talking about oh, uh, okay, like okay. they'll kill they, you. They've been hurt. Yeah, because you, you it's expose It's not that them. they've so, been hurt. It's just that you they're harboring them. a lot of insecurity right. and feeling of. Inadequacy. Mm. So they have to always overcompensate. Some guys ain't blessed. Okay, but you're not blessed, but at the same time, it's kind of like you're trying to fit a different puzzle piece into a different puzzle. Like, right, that's what I'm saying. You could just go to what is for you rather than trying to force. But how we know? But you're trying to force something that's not for you. Going the flow. Not just actually, but because I love you. Stop throwing a hot dog into a hallway. Okay? That's why the phrase motion Somebody that ocean actually like you was going to show Stop that. Stop throwing a hot dog into a hallway. How you supposed it's to know that? Hard. How are you supposed to know that? Learn Cause, better. Cause how he supposed to know he better buy that? What you mean how he supposed to know? He know better be if I got to deal with a man that got to go buy not, one of those, Not that he problem. knows what he was showing up <laughs> with. It's, it's kind of like. You better get a rose or something. How you feel about yourself kind of shows in your performance. It does, in a sense. Yes. Like it shows in every aspect of your life. It shows that's, that's how you feel about yourself. That's a rarest form. Is that a- <laughs> so what's the best feeling to have? <laughs> you gotta think about it. That you're, you're okay comfort- with who like, you are. are you I confident? feel like the best. So if you feel like if you feel like you that nigga in real life, you're this gonna show up form. as that nigga in every aspect. No matter how so, big so or small your so dick is, you're gonna show up. Like you can have a little, just like she said. Like you can have maybe a small dick. And he show up like the nigga, that nigga. I'm that. And he better be that nigga. That yes, exactly. Yo, y'all are ridiculous. Listen, oh, listen. No, I won't what, say that. that. Hold on, Sharp. Hold on, Sharp. Sharp, 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 Sharp. Listen. They're ridiculous. No, I'm playing. <laughs> no, I'm listen, listen, because there's women. <laughs> there's but I mean, this, this is Hold on, one mic, one mic, one mic. I spoke with so many different women. I spoke with so many different women. And, and <laughs> honestly, when I was growing up, one of the biggest things an older woman told me was that a lot of her friends don't have orgasms. So she's like... I believe it. She's like, make sure you get you one. If whenever you have sex um, in the future or whatever, she was a cool older lady. I remember her all the time. But anyways, she was like, make sure you get you one because a lot of women don't, and they just kind of tend to lay there or settle, even is though it's it not good. Is it because they can't, or is it just because like what? Just because women are just 
I don't know. It's so just the way that, we're wait, wired. So it's harder to make like, women just like what she was saying is, earlier is. that she was saying that she would care but more about me, his I pride because she didn't want to hurt his feelings. Then I, then I choose to be with you. Okay, so what if you choose not to choose to be honest with you? For instance, like, that's not cheating, nigga. Shit, if you don't have to do it. He's yeah, right. Let him finish. 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 I keep just saying. Go he ahead. Go ahead. Knows, if he already knows that, like you said, the issue is that 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 he knows best, right? But he knows his strength. That's his strength. And <laughs> he don't play big with it. Hey, yeah, you got to learn a different trade. <laughs> Duh, what the fuck? Learn, if his best trade is, I feel like it's not <laughs> grits for him market. only because some women don't need penetration. That's so what I'm saying. That's, that's like I said, the penetration is nut. not as high yeah, as the head. But he's grits. That makes sense. He no, may no, want to. No, I don't believe no, he would be go-go. grits for all. No, women. but, it really but depends. he's grits because he might want to feel the apple pie. Yeah. Feel it's not water. to say that he wouldn't <laughs> though. It's yeah, just yeah, she knows that that's not his best. That American pie. Apple pie. It's not to say that she wouldn't. and blueberry. It's just to say that she knows that that's not his. Right, and I find another way to please him. So what's another way to please him? Suck like his not, dick. Suck like his dick. Yeah. He's not wearing it down, so like he's like, hey, he's suck it up. Do we want to get back? I don't even want to say it. Hey, sometimes, hey, never mind. Oh, my God. Can y'all please, we already please, about when the y'all do on the, the edits, replay that part a couple times. Suck his dick. Suck his dick. Damn. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Will y'all do the edit, please? Suck his dick. Suck his dick. Damn. Bro. And get that face in it. Get that face in it. Like. What Mike? Where you from again? Georgia. She nah, said what part? Because Atlanta, no. Vidalia. Vidalia. <laughs> you No, but as long as I know about it, I'm going to just do it. So it don't go she's a, she's that's, a wholesome that's exactly woman. What, that's exactly she's a wholesome woman. No, like, when she's, she's when from she Vidalia, said, Georgia. That's exactly where I'm <laughs> I was like, I was, she, you know, like, literally in my mind. Right, I'm going like, to Vidalia. Like, I don't know yeah. about y'all. When y'all said that's all he got his head. I'm going no, no, there, no. nigga. Like, when y'all was talking about all, all he got his head. And then I'm gonna find <laughs> Marley was like, yeah, I'm going to just, some guys don't need penetration. So I, I had whispered. I was like, yo, I was like, well, what if he just want to put it in for a little bit? She was like, I could just give him head instead. <laughs> cause, cause, no, because in the day, she ain't got to say she had, <laughs> she got fucked by a little dick nigga. I just oh. give him head. Oh, you're super for real. First like, of all, like, I don't like, know about, I about all that. Like, <laughs> it's actually quite disrespectful. I, I personally. Like, shit. Like, and let me put it in. And I had to pick. If I had to pick. You're not about to get that. And I had to pick. A little dick nick. I mean, a little dick nigga fucking me. Over me giving me head, he could fuck the shit out of me. I'm not sucking your dick. Yo, I'm hold not on, on, sucking your dick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that a real one? It is. Hey, 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 it's, it's whatever. So she might be like, <laughs> listen. But he is bad right can, now. Can, so if like, I'm gonna hey, suck hey, a dick, I bad. gotta enjoy it, hey, and I'm not gonna enjoy it if it's small. <laughs> what like we sucking on gummy worms and shit? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. He is bad right now. Jamaica horns after she fought. Still let him, I still let him perform. I still let him perform. I still let him perform. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mike? I still let him perform. You know so, what I'm so saying? So let me ask you this. You gonna text him after? Oh, no. Uh, if he, like oh, I said, I'm not no, I'm not no person, like I said, I'm not no person with the, I'm me personally as a woman. I'm not the one with no size, okay? I'm not all about the size, how big, little, all that, because I done had a little dick nigga who don't rock my world, okay? What I just said. What I just said. So okay. was it because of how he came in that shit, or was he just... 
No, I mean like that. Hey, you. I meant, I meant like. <laughs> <That's a sound laughs> I said it wrong. <laughs> and he was a man, no, so I respect no, him for that. Like, so I don't give a damn what y'all say. Was it because nah. of how he like his swag with it? Like. I like. like I, a lot more it was. It, yes, it was. It was more than that. We we was like we like we was entwined with each other. So we who? liked it each she other. Was it was an emotion. A, and he was at so first. That's, that's different. No, no, no. Yes, like, he had like swag. Like, he had so, all that. I could have. Like, I, I, I could have left, left him alone when we first fought. I'm like, oh hell, I could have been like that the first time, but I wasn't like that because I like actually liked it him, and he actually liked me. So I always believe when you're in love that automatically for a guy, when a girl loves you. Adds like two or three inches to your body. So it does. They ain't say no. No, oh, because that's oh, proof. Yeah, yeah. That's hey, proof. It's written. Down. That's proof. It's written. That's proof. She said she, she had a. Like, she said oh, she oh, had oh. a little dude that rocked the world, right? <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you. Well, it's in little. Her, in, her mind, in her mind, I ain't gonna say the d word. In her mind, she, he probably had an extra two inches. Love is. Viable. I feel like it just works. So wait, works. what's the minimal like length? Honestly, I ain't never had a ruler to pull it out in. Y'all should be measuring shit because that's a little weird. Like, that's like, OD, right? Because there's different. Hey, at the end of the day, like there's that's different. A weird, like there's like, different like, types of nigga. men. Come here, we you. measure you before <laughs> we go. Nah, don't measure. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Uh, hey, all, hey, all I know hey, is that little, these, you measure me. Yes, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, men have their standards as well. You know what I'm saying? Men have their standards as well. And all niggas don't like skinny girls. All niggas it's don't not like big girls. You got to take what you get. Like, all that, all that, man. All, everything, man. Everything, everything, man. It just really, whoa. I don't look at none of that. I don't look at none of that. She's like, wait, chill. <laughs> chill, daddy. Why is it not fair? <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you hear this nigga say for breeze can? Do you know how big of her breeze can is? So there's two big ones. Is that not for everyone? My guy, a for See, I want big, but not too big. We want big, not not. What if he got? What if he got a thirteen inch? What do y'all want? And they he can keep it. We talking about we talking about reasonable, nice. So like an iPhone twelve. That's a little small. <laughs> it could be the max. Oh, the max? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, what? listen. What? The, the inches Actually. don't matter. Right. Yeah. It's, all it's, it's all relative. It's all relative. So imagine you. There's no rubric or standard. Like, so oh, it has to be you. this length. I. Yeah. What's small? Like, honestly, a man only is. needs. Uh, I feel like every small. man like knows five, if they're six, small. For, for the record, no. uh, iPhone 12 yes. is 5.78 inches. So that's small. Again. Then, look, but the depth. And as, as a woman, we're, we're not woman like. Six oh. feet, seven feet. Not, no, we're shit, not. not. We're not even thinking about stuff like that. Right. And it's just. Is it big enough? Yes Do or it no. feel good enough? Does it feel Hold good? On. Yes or no? And then, Do he work uh, good enough? All right, so the like iPhone, was, the iPhone was, I'm, I'm Googling, the iPhone was 5.8 inches. Average size of a penis is 5.1 inches to 5.5, according to. That sounds about right. NCBI assumption. So what's 5 inches? Hold on. Yeah, so you said that sounded about right. What's just 5 pull inches? Out your phone. If you, no, 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 if you had to just show. When I see iPhone, no, no, no. I'm thinking about it. You're not talking about the bigger ones, right? You're talking about the standard, no, the standard, size. Standard, the standard yeah. size. Yeah. No, if you had to show five no, inches really. your phone, what's five inches? I mean, not your phone, but your fingers. What's five inches? Right, so if you had to do like this, what's five inches? This <laughs> big? That's bigger than five. Maybe. Maybe like two. Yeah. iPhone 11. That's a big ass phone. What's five inches to you, Amy? That is like five, five inches. Five inches. The iPhone is not that big. Or that, that might small. be five inches. Man, nah. A man only needs four uh, to make a woman uh, come out. That's uh, what I was about to say. Here, but. Well, at the end of the day, no matter what size. That's eight inches? I'm about to cut that up. I ain't drinking out no water, but I got to cut that bottle up. Put it in a cup. And they are not looking at size because guys can look at what they want too in women. Like, no, it's a little, standard. it's a little different for guys because oh, like, so everyone is telling us in that moment that they like, she, she did, she she disagreed. said nah. She, she said she's nah. all about please. So everybody else was like, yeah. So you gonna, so you gonna tell people in the comments? 
I don't tell girls. I'd like, be scared to tell a girl the moment I she left. Because like that might be my I can do it right no, now. but that but that might be my only pussy right now. Yeah, yeah it, you don't tell I a don't girl because like you want to. It should to have get. to be where you're hurting their feelings. It's just what. No, but hey, that shit was. If, yeah. if a guy, hold on, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. I feel like when it's feeling like it's uncomfortable or not good, then it's kind of like a redirection, but, right? Yeah, it's like a rejection. But has somebody ever told you? Wait, well, what are y'all talking about? No, so her, her, but I'm saying for me, as as for me, actually speaking on it, I would in the moment, not like oh after like so, oh hey this wasn't okay. good. So no. it's not feeling good right now. Yeah. <laughs> like can we do something oh, different? Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of girls think they can ride, but they don't know how to ride. I did. That's yeah. that's a say? very <laughs> solid point. You know they all. But my thing is, why wait till after? Well, when they could course correct during because it's scarcity. Guys don't want to hurt the girl feeling, so she don't but be like, I'm not cutting like you I said, that anyway. might be your only girl right now. Yeah. But it's not good anyway. Exactly what's back. the point? That's what? If it's not what? Fear. Goes back to what I said mm-hmm. earlier. Yeah. I niggas go through droughts a lot. Like. like, niggas get droughts, and we don't like them droughts. It may be a two weeks. It might Who be a drought? month. It might be a year. You never know. Your drought is crazy. Yeah, so drought. when you have one, you'd be, like, you'd be like, wait, what? That's true. Yeah. Guys have droughts. Yeah. Women go through absence. Yeah. They choose to. Yeah. Niggas like, hey, I ain't gonna fuck this up. I'm gonna ride this out. Shit on the wall, hoping it sticks somewhere. I got my best game. Put on my lucky shirt. Yeah, mm-hmm. fuck him up tonight. I'm gonna so be we on don't my team. We just, been out we six just months. Go out. Talk about fuck him up and yeah. catch nothing. Then we get the y'all be fucking anything. I got money wasn't available. It's, now you guys understand. Word. You see, you understand? They didn't. Why they didn't have like the. That. They didn't have the what I wanted in stock at the right. moment. You know. You see, right, so you went to whatever was. Good. I had to get the great value brand. Yeah, okay? Walmart was taxing. The face wasn't all that, but their ass was similar. It was good. Great value. CVS yeah, shit still works. You feel me? I'm cutting all this out. It by do. It do. Well, <laughs> on my part, the great value oatmeal. Hey, yo, that oatmeal still tastes that way. Hey, it do. It tastes, it tastes the same. Who got? Oh, you got the box. Well, yeah. face. This the last question. Oh, we got one more. Oh. Uh, What's one thing you don't understand about the opposite sex? Yeah, another one. I think we. Yeah, we just had one. a whole discussion about it. Yeah, we just had a couple. That was a good we one. did that I one on a different one. episode. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was a, that was the one we should have started with on the night. That was we should have get that shit going. Yeah, that was nice. What is? What is the difference between a first impression and judging a book by its cover? Yeah, I think that's a dope one. Judge a book um, by cover and you off rip, just go off by what you see and not even knowing the person. And I believe first impression is like you actually meeting the person, getting a vibe or something like that and catching, you know, catching yeah. away from them, you know. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I think. I think to to break that down even more simpler is uh, interaction. Yeah, That's the difference. Interaction. Because yeah. I could walk in the room and just see some shit that I don't know. I could see some shit that I don't know. I would start think, "Oh, this bitch is ghetto. She's not my shit." Mm-hmm. But then I could stay in that room and actually end up sitting down having a conversation with this female. And realize that oh, me and her actually got a lot mm-hmm. going on. Mm-hmm. Maybe she was just really into whatever they was talking about, right. or you know what I'm saying. She might be a passionate person, or maybe she's just an aggressive speaker. Because I know people like that. Right. So I really do feel like the answer to this question is just like interaction over, you know, yeah. just judging somebody. I, I agree too. I think one of the impression, first impression is more action, right? Like so, how you how come across like what you say what you do versus judging the book by its cover is just perception like I can look at somebody right now and just like she said like they may say XYZ and I'm just like yeah like she he ghetto or they a bum or they broke versus somebody presenting an action to you and then like you get in that first impression where it's a good first impression or a bad first impression so for me it's just more so about perception versus actions Hmm. Right, so <laughs> um, y'all said everything. I agree with everything y'all said. Um, I don't really have much else to add to that. Has anyone ever 
judge the book by its cover. Of course. And then later know. find out, damn, thing. this person a vibe. No, um, def- definitely I have. Most recently, definitely. yeah. I and, definitely have. And as of recently, I've stopped doing that because mm. I be feeling like I've blocked a lot of like blessings and connections and stuff like that. Just judging people. So, definitely. I feel like everybody does it. No, I definitely judge somebody by their, by like what I saw and what I thought of them versus, you know, what they presented to me or whatever like that. So, I think that's more just like me just being in my own head. But once again, like I said, like it's actions versus perception when it comes to, um, you know, judging a book by its cover and then like um, just first impression. So, boom. All yeah. right, go ahead. It's crazy. Um, like it's crazy and cool at the same time because, like being black, we have these things where we do things like this, but we don't call it that, so it don't feel as bad. We don't say judging the book by its cover. Because there's like a, you know, there's obviously a negative connotation by it. But we say things like, man, first time I met Buddy, Buddy was straight capping. But more Buddy came around, man, you know, Buddy really cool, though, like for real, for real. Like, Buddy just really be chilling. And instead of we say, uh, of us saying that, you know, we had whatever it is before, the other way I said it for the first time, first time we have this better way of saying it to each other that makes more sense and it's, it's uh, a lot less threatening. And they get over real easy with everybody. Like, oh, I ain't trying him by saying it the way I said it. You get what I said. Well, you straight now. Yeah. But have you ever judged a book by its cover and got it right? I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because all about, it's all, for me, like, it's all about, like, it's like a certain type of, like, energy, I don't, like an energy. Like, it's like a... You'll know. You'll know if it's a if a bad energy. Well, I know. I know. Like I know if it's a bad energy or if I'm if they in a bad mood. I, I know they don't feel like being talked to right now. You can just I can just tell up in the person. So I already know beforehand what kind of response I'm finna get or something like that. So I know that's me. That's judging. Like oh man, this person bad. So I already know like what type they got going on today. So some shit like that. So I meet them every day at the club. <laughs> All right, next question. All right, so I got the last question, y'all. Possibly. Huh. What are three things that make you feel secure in a relationship? Fellas, first. So I'll go ahead, man. Go ahead, Red, <laughs> red Wings. Go ahead, Red Wings. Um, what? Secure. So number one is trust, always. Um, I want to feel like I can trust you at all times. Um, usually for me, I give people the benefit of the doubt day one because I can't not meet somebody and not trust them and don't know about them. So I give you the benefit of the doubt. I trust you. Uh, two, communication. Um, that's needed for me. I need to be able to communicate things to you. We have to be able to have healthy communication, healthy arguments. Like I hate... Um, when we have like very pointless arguments or we just have, uh, arguments about things that we can kind of talk about like upfront versus like the overreactions and the outbursts and stuff like that. But for me, communication, trust is one and two, uh, three, um, emotional support. Um, I just think as men, we're not emotional creatures. Women are. Mm -hmm. Um, So for the woman to step in and be able to provide that emotional support and be able to just be like, just kind of make it okay for us to, you know, to be able to speak our emotions or to act emotionally in a safe space with them. I feel like those are three things for me that will make a relationship secure. Like I've been in situations to where I've dated women that clown the fact that you know, maybe I thought that I could be a little bit more comfortable emotionally, and then they clown the fact that I they call that soft, um, and I didn't like that. I dead that situation quick, but um, just kind of thinking about that situation and it's like, you know, women are supposed to be emotional creatures, and then that person is kind of like picking on me about you know whatever it is emotionally that I was dealing with at that time. That's that was foul. Mm-hmm. But those three things right there for me is just like three things that I need to feel secure. As far as like relationships, 
be for real. Yeah, I think peace is on there. Mm -hmm. uh, very important to have that. You don't need all. You don't need none of that st static or anything disruptive. Whatever you guys got going on, uh, you always want to keep things smooth. Understanding. Um, but for the other two, I've been going back and forth where I think communication is one that's really important because without that, you don't get understanding the ability to uh, uh, say things how you need to say it and address them how you need to be addressed. Um, then it goes to, what I said it was, it was peace, communication, trust is on, trust is like something I'm, I'm just in my head, but I don't, I don't really want to say it. Another one is fun. And I think fun almost truck is my third one. Just cause I just like to have a good time. I like to enjoy shit. A lot of things are too serious or too, uh, too just too too good too much control. It's not it's too tight. It's not loose. It should be everything should be more more on why we should be able to be living and enjoying the life and feel like we can't do that because we all stuck in this one real one um, roller coaster, the same ride over and over of doing the same thing. Wake up, go to work, have to work, come home, enjoy dinner, shower, get up, do it again the next day. Where's the time to enjoy it? Saturday and Sunday only? That doesn't make any sense to me. We gotta live more. It's so much to be going on to be happy about. Facts. Preach. Mm -hmm. so Let's think, go with Marley? LQ. No, we're gonna well, start I was, with LQ. I want to hear. I want to hear Marley's perspective. We, we gonna we gonna jump around. We gonna let's go LQ. Let's hear. Um, okay. Well, uh, in my opinion, because everybody has different, you know, answers. Like, but they're all like key answers. So, like. I believe my three answers, like a, it has to be like a balancing, like a, like a balance in your relationship because like it can't be all lopsided. Um, I say balance, um, trust. Yeah, you can have trust, but it's like on certain levels, like yeah, because like I can't just give you all my trust yet, like on certain levels of that. All, all cause of the relationship. All, all, all falls of the relationship. All falls of my trust. Like that's how that's gonna play. But, um, romance. That's that's where the fun plays. The romance and stuff. Like, be romantic. Go have fun. Enjoy life. Because, like he said, life's too short. Like you can't be serious all the time. Like we can go out and do some stuff. Have fun. Enjoy people. Um. I'm that type of relationship, like, my man took me to the strip club. We both enjoyed strippers, throwing money on strippers together, like, stuff like that. Like, he didn't mind, I didn't mind him getting a strip on him. We was having fun, like, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like, we'll bring some enjoyment in a relationship and actually bring excitement and everything else in a relationship, too, and everything y'all do, you know? So, it plays a good connection. That's mine. Um, definitely trust. Loyalty is big for me. Um, and I feel like loyalty just goes so far because people can, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I feel like you can trust somebody and they don't be loyal to you. Like, you could trust that they being yeah. loyal to you, but at the end of the day, that person could go out that door and do whatever it is that they want to do. But loyalty is something that is like, what you have to provide to a person, like only reassurance that you're going to give that person is you knowing what you're doing at the end of the day, if that makes sense. Yeah, because trusting somebody, you just trusting that person to be it's, themselves. Exactly. Loyalty, and if you are yeah. not loyal yourself, yeah. then what am I trusting? Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. So trust, loyalty, and for me, romance, because I've been in... A relationship for so long where romance was not a big thing for that person and they made it a big thing made it not a big thing for me and when you allow people to warp what your love language is mm -hmm. or warp what you consider your love you lose yourself within that relationship mm -hmm. and then you become unhappy and then you and that person are never going to see eye to eye because y'all are talking two different fucking languages to each other and don't understand shit so I would say trust, loyalty, and romance because I feel like all of those like keep keep it pretty solid for the most part. Okay, um, 
I would say everybody's answers were really good. Um, but I would say communication is one. I'm a talker, so I usually like to say what's on my mind. So I don't usually um, like anything or to deal with anybody who doesn't. Because then they become really passive, really... Nothing's wrong, face ass. Not so, so long. Um, <laughs> Not face ass. Um, so communication is one. I would also say connection because one of my love languages are quality time. So that's how I usually feel love with people. Even if it's um, friends, business partners, like lovers, family. That's how I usually like to show up for others is by being there for them. If they say they have this going on, I'm there. If they say they want to do this. I'm trying to do it because that's how I just show love. Um, the last one, I say communication, connection. Oh, what y'all was saying too. The romance, yeah, but excitement. I, I yeah. like to have fun. So mm -hmm. I like to I like to keep it fun. I like to do fun stuff, go to new places, try different things. Doesn't really matter what sometimes. I just like to learn different things. So if we're doing different stuff, you know, we're having fun, then I'm I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. It don't take much, you know, to please me. Like, just be good and just do, let's have fun. Let's good vibes and let's chill. Like, like not none of that bullshit. Like, Trust that me. was a good question. Everybody's answers were pretty You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like everybody's answers. Well, we for me, romance is it. Romance is a need for me because I'm so sure. you could you could be with the relationship. No, 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 no. I don't say don't say that. No, then. No. I'm just saying I'm just saying that I feel like that's expected. Ain't no, ain't no way, huh? It should be expected. Okay. Yeah, but you you won't nah, be surprised how many people like, don't. If, I, if, I, if I'm dating a girl, I'm in a relationship with a girl. I feel like that just comes with it. Nah, how many yes, relationships? Yes, I, I don't. I just, I just feel like a lot of people don't have good communication. To be romantic. But you know, her how many stories like men ain't good. And so, so, why would I, so you think? So you think? I, Some people are not. So you get to do for you. Romantic, but remember, 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 romantic is subjective. Nah, it's not. It is it's, it's, though. I don't think it's. It's, okay. it's not that. It's not that far off. Being romantic is you can hold her hands. Being romantic, my, my guy. That's, that's, that's affection. That's romance. Yeah, okay. that's what that's what I'm saying. It's subjective. Okay. How's that? Subjective? Where you at? What because you doing? It's, it's, yeah. it's different things. Like, it just so it, it, it can't be. Romance. Where you at? What you doing? Okay. Yeah. What what like? But look, look. Text message. Even if they ate everything, could be romantic. Hell yeah, that's romantic as fuck. I ain't get that. That's why it's subjective. You ask it. It's not. Hold on. Everything you're. It's an umbrella yeah. word. I wish somebody asked me. Ro yeah. Hold on. Ro romance, <laughs> romance is an umbrella term for affection. Yes, that's how I'm saying. Holding hands is affection. Sending that text is affection. Okay. Everything so that you. So the main word should be affection. Rom well, because Rom affection. Is, yeah. Because romance gotta, falls it's under a affection. It's a synonym. It's a synonym. Yeah, it could be a synonym. Okay. Because because when you're not. Yeah. Romance came from like Rome. Like the thing is though, like. Honestly, I don't consider romance Jeez. being like a real thing. It's just about affection. That's just Cause love. Love is just an action. You know, you just if, if I cook for her, yeah. that's short of affection. Is love an action or is love a feeling? I think. I, I know. I think I'm it's trying to ask Ricky. If I cook for her, that, and that's short of affection. Love is a deep feeling. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. you're nurturing her. You're, you're bringing God damn, nigga, you went way that far? Nurturing. Hey, yeah. yeah. To feed someone is showing you care. A girl that cooks for me, that's that's. Oh, oh definitely. Let me go something basic. Putting the toilet seat down. That's not romantic. That's, you can't say that. You can't say that. That's not. You know you can't why? Say that that's courtesy. That's courtesy. You don't have to do that. It, but it's it, why the hell you don't. You don't have to be romantic. I, well, I, I never lift the seat. I keep that bit down. I I, I got good aim. The fuck. Hey. And if I do miss, I wipe. It. I would hope everybody put Glad the seat I down. I leave it down. You ain't gotta worry I hate about to that. Hear that shit. Why you pee on the toilet seat? No. I see the slash. I ain't see the slash. Courting is dating. Though. Is it is it wrong if the person courting slash entertaining leaves you for one of your friends? Oh wait a minute. Oh, that's a hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> one more time for the people in say the back. Again. Yeah, say it again. Yes. Say it again. Is it wrong if the person that you're courting slash entertaining leaves you for one of your friends? 
Leave you as far as what relationship? Leave you on a date? Like, stop talking yeah, to nah, it. It's, it's whatever, travel. A couple days. You're entertaining. Y'all, y'all, like, ain't, y'all ain't have sex yet or none of that. Y'all, y'all hanging just, out. Y'all, y'all out. interested oh. in each other. Oh. But then she ain't I see mean, your homeboy. I feel honest, like that's wow. a grown conversation between the 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 two people that was already mm. dating. And then clearly the person that I've been dating and this person have had some type of interaction to know that they want to talk to each other. So all us need to sit down and figure out what's going on. Because, bitch, how you my friend and you been in his face? But, but, he ain't, but y'all ain't have sex. Y'all it, don't it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. So that's I, just I like that's just like you, it, like you just said. Now ain't my you just no said if I'm taking a bitch out, if I'm feeding her more than one time, I'm fucking with her, right? Yeah. So why you in her face? Yeah, I ain't got nothing to say. Exactly. Yeah. Boy, in the discussion. That's, why, and that's how you read a room. Ooh, how about this? No, ooh, got ooh, I got a, I got a compound question. God damn, do y'all believe your girl can be your your partner can be friends with your friends? No. Yeah, what do y'all no. have to be friends about? No, well, I not would my, never, not I my, never my, want my girl to be friends with my friends. Not my friends, friends, but he can like be cool with my siblings and shit. Y'all can be cordial, cool. family, well, yeah, but your friends, now, no. Like, you ain't finna hang out with us. No. You, you know how much liability? You know how much family event or some shit. So like, just just hypothetically, right? She's friends with my friends, and let's say I cheated, get caught, right? She gonna hit every one of my niggas. She's friends with him. She's going to feel obligated that my guy should have told her I cheated. But they knew. Your loyalty is not to her. Right. But she thinks that because they're friends. She walked into that. That's why you don't do that right there. That's why I don't do that. That's stupid. I'm not saying I will cheat. I'm just saying for that reason. But she might be the girl that cheated on you uh, and go back and fuck one of your friends, one of your homies that she was cool with. Mm. Like, fuck it. Like... Mm. That's, That's a different reason. type of. Or she bitch. run through your friends. But I'm not that. I'm not that insecure to think that would happen. But that is. It's him over here, like yeah. <laughs> nah, it's just, that happened, boy. Ooh. It, it it does. Girls do that. A lot, a lot of crew. guys be plotting on your girls. Oh yeah, niggas be waiting for y'all to break up. That's why, I like, if I'm dating somebody mm-hmm. until we get married, niggas I ain't never post my girl. None of that shit. Like you is no not, because ni- niggas will see. I get what you're saying. No, like niggas niggas get envious. Yeah. And that's that's just my reason. Yeah, niggas y'all, get envious. Niggas y'all see y'all you post a pretty ass girl, y'all on a trip. Oh, that's his girl. Oh, bet. Like I, I've seen that with my own. In my you own, you know why circle. they be like, that's so they like, oh, hey, you got her. My, I could get her too. too. That's what niggas be on. Yeah, yeah. that's a crazy yeah. thought process. Yeah, that's girls don't do that shit. No, but, do that too, oh, you talking about their homies? Yeah, they were like, damn. And then especially because girls like to talk to their girls about their sexual experience. And then jealous that it happens. And you know it's crazy. Oh, it girls do it a lot. Man. It happens more with girls than guys. Guys do. don't really yeah, talk I mean, about girls. Not the girl we like. Not yeah. the girl we yeah. like. Yeah. But yeah. girls would be like, girl, he put it on me. And now, yeah. now yeah. fucking uh, Laquanda, she's like, damn, this nigga, every time she come into the chat, she glowing. And, and he just left the crib. He, uh, she, she curious. She curious. Mm-hmm. A lot guys of, do the same no, thing. No, no, no. Guys, uh, believe it or not, guys don't talk about who we fuck or the girl we like as much as girls. I'm um, girls talk to their girls. Yeah, we don't. They still talk to them. We really don't. Nah. I don't either. So no, I we don't really don't. No, I'm not. Well, I guess not you. But I feel like a lot of girls do that. But Martin guys, real won't nigga though. because yeah. we think that same mindset. <laughs> Y'all might not be thinking, but we think like no, I know. Who I tell, I tell her right now. Girls, hey, yo, this really chick gave me some fire ass head. Was sloppy. Like I'm just. That's almost. Why you hear that? Hey, yo, I tell, I tell, I tell my nigga that nigga. As soon as I bring you around here, like. I see why. He's starting to like, look, she got big lips. Yeah. Her, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like they just start picking up on shit. Niggas get curious. Niggas get hyped off the story that you tell them. And they start plotting. And the yeah. minute you fuck up, right? They on they, there, there are some niggas that won't say nothing, but there are other niggas that will literally, like, if I was to cheat, right? All my niggas supposed to keep that on the low, right? But there is one nigga in the group, nigga right, like, that may be hella yeah. envious. He was scheming the whole time. He's scheming the whole time. He wanted, and, mm-hmm. and he going to start, friend now. hey, yo, yeah. hey, look, <laughs> hey, oh, my nigga good. Uh, you may not know everything about him. Like, just or he keep take it. pictures like, on the slide. Hey, he gonna start throwing his. Put it, put it on his. Just keep your eyes like, open. Oh, I ain't know, bro. Keep your eyes open. Just, just be smart. Be <laughs> smart about it. He and then look, what's gonna happen? Like the now, now you don't put idea in here. You get caught. 
right? She go and right he's back. the hero. Yeah. Now yeah. she go he's back. Hero. Now she go she back to him because he's the hero. He's the she's nigga. gonna put it he, on him now. Wow, like, you was right. Save me. He's the. He's. The, I'm so kid. hurt. He's you don't. Know, hey, yo. he's, he's the nigga that knows. <laughs> he's the. Nigga yo, that, he's the nigga that knows your mom's. I mean, your girl's mom's name. So yeah. you go in there, call her first name basis. See the shit he's setting up? Hey, Cheryl will oh, approve soon of that. As you had Hold on. He Hold on. Miss Cheryl don't play that. Cheryl don't play that. Miss Cheryl. Hey, you gonna play over that? He walk in and tell us about Miss Cheryl. Miss Cheryl do that. Like, and then when she broke up with him, she go right back to him. You were so right. I told you, know you about why? that nigga. Hold on. I told you, you know why he get good with the mama? Because he like... Yo, you, I never liked that Steve boy. You should have always been with Walter. Yeah. You know, Walter really would have been nice by It literally you. works out like that. Niggas just and that's up exactly shit. why I would never, until I propose to my girl, I'm not, I, the first time I propose, propose to my girl is when somebody takes that picture of me on one knee. Oh, I'm about to marry such and such. Because niggas, niggas will be envious when you marry, but I feel like it's just, it's a lot more, it's a lot harder to break up. Envious and none of my in, that as, in that aspect. But because there's a lot to lose when you get married. Then fuck up too, right? still. No, there's a lot to lose when you get married versus boyfriend girl. You ain't got shit to lose. You gonna get your heart broken. You break a hey, your wife cheating, your husband cheating, y'all divorced. That's money. That's money. Yeah, that's, right. yeah. that's, that's a lot. It's a lot more to lose in the marriage. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, like, man, don't, women. don't do this when we in. But, we but in. <laughs> niggas, niggas are envious. Like your niggas, a lot of like you got ten niggas in your circle. Nine of them gonna be. Oh man, I'm happy for you. But that one that nigga. one nigga. Shit. The same nigga that'll cuff like, the girl after the hey, after everybody ran through her. Hey, That's the same nigga. Hey, don't tell that story. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell that story. We know that. But But look, like it's 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 legit though. So yeah, it's bitch. Bro, we wrapping up. We gonna do one more question. We wrapping up. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. I think we That's it. Yeah, I had a good discussion. I like it. It was fun, y'all. Wrap it up. All right, well, this is another episode of Out of the Box. This is Shar once again. We have some really good questions plus a bonus question. I uh, hope y'all enjoy. Like, y'all can go ahead and argue with y'all significant others about the same questions, <laughs> y'all partners, whatever it may be. But, shit, these were some good questions. So, we're going to go around the room and we're going to close out with everybody. Again, follow me at Looks by Lee and also my hair page at LXL Extensions. Bye. And it's your girl LQ. Oh, thank she you hit for, the, Thank you for oh, letting right. me come. Ooh. Good discussion. Underscore LQ Yolanda. Ooh. Valda. Where you from? Vidalia. Vidalia. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I know about Valdostra. Uh-huh. I know about Valdosta. How, how close is that to Valdosta? Valdosta is about like an hour and a half. Yeah, they got to be cousins. I'm sick of you. Like, what's up, bro? Vidalia, Vidalia. I'm sick of you. Yeah. Go ahead, T. Thank you guys for watching. Um, It's Rarified T. Follow me on Instagram. Book a hair appointment. Book me to bartend your next event. Or just order some strawberries. Peace out. Oh. But yeah, I do chocolate covered strawberries, fruit trays, um, confectionery, smash boxes. Just a bunch of stuff. Follow me on Instagram, rare potions and events. Damn, do it all. Yeah, damn. Mm-hmm. Hustle up. Oh, uh, it's your favorite regular nigga. You already know. It's on the screen, man. ODB. <laughs> Tune in, I'm tired of this. Hold on, hold on. This nigga is, he's a regular nigga, but he's 6'6". Six, six. Well, shut up. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. All this shit. Oh, shit. You got to duck to walk through the door. ODB. Oh,